Hello. The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello, everybody. I know, you nearly <laughs> tripped up there. You did, didn't you? <laughs> Look at you. I know, I'm wearing my favourite, favourite sweatshirt. It says dude. Yeah, you're a little dude, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a little dude. And some punkies are naughty little dude. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to what some punkies have been up to in a minute because he really has been a bit bad this week and he got you into a lot of trouble, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I had to get Chumpy to eat his bum off on the track. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit much. Well, I did. Yeah, well, we don't say words like that on YouTube videos. So, uh, just watch it, OK? So, uh, what's been happening this week then, Jack? I don't know what you for stuff. I've done my lessons. I've um, watched cartoons. I looked after Mama. She's actually been Right, it's because I haven't had to do too much sitting on the bed and I haven't had to put earbuds in because it was only um, the books about racing and Uncle Tony reading them. I like them, so it's all right. Yeah, we've had lots of uh, Dick Francis books. Yes, that would be good. If you uh, were listening to the books I'm hearing this week, you wouldn't hear any naughty words in there. No, no. We, we have one of them books that you like. Uh, which night was it? Night for last, wasn't it, Daddy? I think it was, yes. About the the, the, the posh bloke and the lady who got married and they found the body in the cellar. That's right. Uncle Ian, he reads that, doesn't Uncle he? Uncle Ian, oh, I like Uncle Ian. He's right. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, the way you make all the people that read the books your aunties and uncles. Well, I haven't got any real ones, so I like it. I think it's a great idea. I like that too, Mummy. I think that's really cool. But I like having pretend aunties and uncles, but mine are all cartoon ones. So I thought Uncle Fudge and Uncle Sylvester and Auntie Betty Boop and, and people like that. Oh, that's cute. That's great, isn't it? That's cute, Lacey. It's what you said, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it is what you said. So there. Anyway, Jack, I suppose you better get on to it. What is this that some punky's been doing? Well, sweet, it was on Wednesday. I went to see Jaden because um, Lacey wasn't feeling very good. Her legs was hurting her. So she stayed home and had a rest. And I went to see uh, Jaden on my own and I was playing. Auntie Sarah Beth said, did we want to come down and help her? Because she was making cookies. She was making chocolate chip peanut butter cookies, Mummy. That was so nice. I know, mm. Auntie Sarah Beth makes the best cookies and cakes in the whole white world, doesn't she? Yes, she does. And then what happened? Well, some Punky tasted a bit of the mixture and he liked it and he thought he'd just put a bit in his pocket to have later. He thought Auntie Sarah Beth had so much of the, of the, what do you call that stuff, Molly? The dough. Yeah, that so she wouldn't miss just one little ball. She had six balls. So she thought, he thought she wouldn't miss one. So he picked it up when Auntie Sarah Beth wasn't looking and he put it in his, uh, his tracksuit bottom pocket. Yes. Ah, oh, right. Then Jaden picked one up too. Oh dear. Well, some punky didn't know that it had real chocolate in it that would melt. And it sticked and it fell out of our pockets and it went all over Auntie Sarah Beth's leather sofa and and all on her really nice posh cushions and everywhere and 
she wasn't very happy. <laughs> no, I don't she think wasn't. she would have been, no. <laughs> and Mummy wasn't very happy either, was she? When Auntie Sarah Beth told, told her what you'd done and when she saw the state of your tracksuit bottoms. Because chocolate's very hard to get out, isn't it? Yeah. And also, it's not very good to take what doesn't belong to you, even if it is only a ball of cookie dough, is it? No. And did you say sorry to Auntie Sarah Beth? Did some monkey say he was sorry? He did. And I said I was sorry too, because he shouldn't have done it. Yes, well, I'm sure she forgave you, didn't she? She did, but she asked me not to do that again. Because she said, now nobody's going to have enough cookies. That's right. So you try and be a good boy in future, huh? That's what I will, Mummy. Oh, Lacey, that would have been a Voltim, wouldn't it? It would have been a Voltim. Oh, goodness, we're putting something as sticky and messy as chocolate chip cookie dough in a party. I got it, I got it. Naughty Sam Punky. I know, but he was sorry afterwards. I know that, that. You came home and Sam Punky was trying. And, and then I got you to come and sit down on the sofa and watch Sophia and Bugs Bunny with me. Oh, I know, you was a lovely Lysi. And you let some punky cuddle up and put his head on your shoulder. I know. Well, we always had nice to each other when we're feeling like rubbish, aren't we, Dad Dad? Yeah. Well, some punky was feeling like rubbish. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> How about we have surprises now? Oh, yeah, Dancy Double Dinosaurs. I think you forgot about surprises. What am I going to have? Right then, which one should we have first? That's the thing. The smaller one. The smaller one in the in the box. Yes. Yeah. Right, here we go. Oh, Dancy Double Dinosaurs, Mummy. This is a lost kitty. It is a lost kitty. Right, that means poor Mummy. Let's go to get our fingers in nasties again. Yeah, I like that. Okay, here's a checklist for Auntie Ria. Thank you. And oh, oh. here's Mummy's box of glue. Get rid of the milk carton. Oh, before we do anything else, we need to stop because I need some kitchen roll. Right, Miss Jack, there's some kitchen roll on you so that we don't nerdle your favourite sweatshirt. I love that word, Mummy. Nerdle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off comes the top. Oh, oh Mummy, that is a bolting. It does. It, look, it looks like white goopy milk with a splat in the middle. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh Avorti, mummy! Avorti! Poor mummy! Oh, God. Don't be word of it, Jack. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh! Oh, it's right down at the bottom, too. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, what I have to put up is for you, Jack Carton. nasty hands in it. Why do I have to do it? Because you're the mummy and you love me. Yeah, there you are. You're the mummy. <laughs> right. Can I give you that? Of course. <laughs> it's all right. You don't have to touch it. Right, here's your cat, you the child. Right, I've actually just remembered that there might be an accessory in there, so I'll have to look again. Let me just see. Who have we got here? Oh! Oh, Mummy! He is so cool! He is, isn't he? He's light, light green, isn't he? Light green with great big eyes! That one specks! Oh, Santa! Isn't he tall? He really is, isn't he? Okay, 
Let's have your hand. There you are, my precious. Oh, he's great. Look at his tail. His tail goes right up in the air. And his eyes are huge. Huge big, black big eyes. Right, let me just do a little bit more walking around to make sure there's nothing else in here. Which there is. There is. We'd have missed it. There is, there is, there is. There is, there is a result, as the king said. We would have totally missed it. Oh, it's got, it's all full of plate that disgusting. Oh. Uh, it's all full of plate there. What do we think that is? It looks like some kind of cup or hat or a wig. I'm not <laughs> even sure. Oh, well. There it is. Okay. That is your first surprise, disgusting child. And you've even got the modelling compound to play with. All right. That's your first one. Oh, does he do I love those, Mummy. They're so good. They are a bit good, even though I have to root in the play though for them. It's a, it's a novel way of doing a surprise. Mm hmm and talking of novel ways of doing surprises, oh. your next one is coming up. Yeah, here we go. Oh, look at that cute Tito! Yeah, now this is a novel way of doing a surprise too. He's a white. Oh, Dad, how tall! Because he has a cute Tito to play with. You've got some of these, haven't you? You've got one each. You've got one? Right, you're going to help me with this. Bye-bye.